This might be my most TikTok idea yet. Hello, medics. Today's patient, once again, Jujutsu Kaisen. JJK has a lot of diverse and memorable characters. So today I will be ranking who has the most aura. I've been on TikTok way too much. I've gathered a list of the most notable characters and we'll be putting them on a scale from zero, which is no aura, to 10, which is the most aura. Let's go. Let's start off with our main guy, Itadori. I'm not gonna lie, Itadori gives me side character energy that just so happens to be the main character. And I even feel more this way when his character believes that he's just a cog in this whole wheel of, of life. But even though me saying that, there are some moments in the show where he does something and I'm like, yo, this might be the, the best character out of the new gen. Like when he's fighting Choso and Shibuya or Mahito and he's literally walking up to them, no talking, just action. That type of determination on not caring what the opposition thinks and just following your objective, it's a little bit of aura. So in the grand scheme of all of the characters that I have today, I'm gonna put him right slab in the middle. He doesn't have no aura, but it's not like he has a lot. Now let's talk about his teammate Megami, my favorite anime crash out. At first when I was introduced to his character, I was like, ah, oh, this is just another Sasuke ripoff, but that couldn't be far from the case. Megami's got this nonchalant persona going on, but when it's really time to put his life on the line, he will put it on the line. Some would argue maybe sometimes a little bit too prematurely. My favorite meme out of the whole JJK thing is I summon this treasure because looking back, why was he just so ready to crash out that many times throughout this show? The I summon this treasure position for Megami is an instant aura boost each time. He had Toto shook, he had that one special grade Kurt shook, he even had Sukuna shook. Like yo, you putting your life on the line already? Like yo, this guy might be the real deal. Even when the reincarnated Toji had popped up and his body was just taking him to whoever he thought was the strongest, to Toji's body, Megami had the most presence. If that's not aura, I don't know what is. Although Potential Man isn't in a constant state of having people shook, so I'm gonna put him at a seven on the aura scale. Nobora, rest in peace, I think? She's not dead. She might as well be at this point. There was one time Nobora showed that she had some crazy aura, and it was the last episode when she was fighting with Itadori, and she and Itadori were fighting what we now know to be Itadori's brothers. That's kind of crazy. When they had her do hairpin in that AMV type edit, I was like, oh, that, that's, that's sick but she doesn't have a lot of those moments though so i'm gonna put her at four on the scale all right we got yuta you know we didn't feel yuta's aura that much throughout the entirety of the show because bro was in africa just doing that Africa things, but this one is a no-brainer. First time Yuta introduced himself to Jujutsu Tech, bro unintentionally had the whole class shook. Granted, there's only like three people in that class, but still, I know this is aura because I've seen it be used plenty times in those TikTok edits, bro. And before we were even introduced to Yuta, his name has some motion, bro. Toto was fiending to fight him. Megami was mentioning how he's the only one who he respects. Yuta's like that. I'm gonna put him at eight on the aura scale. Miwa. Zero Aura. She's a fun character, but she's so trash, bro. She's so trash. She's garbage. This is the only anime character that I know where their technique was explained in extreme detail. And then when it was executed, it just didn't work. Twice. Actually, three times. They did her so dirty, bro. Because first with the shadow style technique, they're like, yeah, this is the fastest technique ever, blah, blah, blah. Itadori just jumps over it. And then when she makes a binding vow to never swing a sword again, puts all her might into this one move, Gato just catches it and then blasts her away. That's zero aura, bro. Mei Mei. All Mei Mei wanted to do was get to a bag and tease her little brother. Certified bag chaser, certified. What, 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 what? She's really low key, so I'm gonna just put her at three on the scale. Maki Zenin. Look, I got Maki bias. I got Maki bias. She's my favorite character. I just think she's so cool, bro. She got a chip on her shoulder with something to prove. It's like a Rock Lee story with darker undertones. And don't even get me started on manga stuff, bro. I don't care, Maki bias. I'm putting her at eight on the scale. Toji, bro, it's like every time Toji popped up on screen, a plot twist happened when he shot Goji joe when he killed rika when he popped up in the crab domain when he got reincarnated like toji might have the most instances where he had characters shook that's where that man named brung fear in people's hearts i'm gonna put toji at nine on the scale toto toto has aura but he loses his aura the more that you get to know him like the more that's exposed about his character the more you learn that he's just he's just an idiot who happens to be strong like his battle iq is all the way up here but his regular iq is just like so low i'm gonna put him at six on the scale joe 
Jogo. It's so messed up because season one did Jogo no good. Bro just had the most unfortunate matchup ever, the strongest sorcerer in modern times. But after season two, when you take a step back, you're like, yo, Jogo had a domain expansion when he was fighting Gojo. Like, he was really like that. This is how I know Jogo's aura is crazy, though, because one of the funniest scenes in Jujutsu Kaisen is when they're at that diner and that waiter refuses to go to a certain table because Jogo is there, but he can't even see Jogo. So he quits his job on the spot. <laughs> He's like, bro, I got a wife. I got, I got sisters. I'm trying to get them to college. I can't die here. And he just left. Shout out Jogo, bro. If I was to name characters that get done the dirtiest in JJK, it's Miwa Itadori than him. I'm gonna put him at seven on the aura scale. Mahito. Mahito doesn't really have aura like that. The only reason we gotta respect him is because he's just able to kill people like that. I feel the same way about him that I do Itadori. Because he does have his moments. Because he did reach perfect cell form. <laughs> but then he was crying running away from Itadori. Gato. This is surprisingly easy once you consider the fact that bro's a cult leader. Like he was the leader of the star religious group. Like I don't know if you can be a cult leader and not be charismatic and have aura. Feel you know I me? Mean? Like, like the only cult leader that I can think of that doesn't have aura is Taylor Swift. All right, next we have Panda. 10. It's a panda that talks, bro. If that's not aura, I don't know what is. Next, Nanami. Rest in peace. Number and locations of your allies. This walk right here, th this is presence. I don't care how much curse energy and strength the other characters have, none of them have walked like this. <laughs> I'm gonna put Nanami at a 9. Inumaki. Inumaki? I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong. Regardless of pronunciations, though, anything this man says goes. If he says shut up, you're shutting up. If he says like and subscribe on this video, you're liking and subscribing if you haven't. If he says KYS, you're K Actually, I don't know if, I don't know if he can do that. Why hasn't he done that? Is it, is it too much like power to do? It's like how nobody spams Abacadabra and Harry Potter. Though if he does like say like KYS, it might end up killing him too, so. It's gonna be a dangerous game he's playing. Regardless though, his cursed speech puts him at a seven on the aura scale. All right, I saved the most obvious two for last, Gojo and Sukuna. Clearly these are tense. I think Gojo literally killed one of those curses with aura, if I'm not mistaken. Like the definition of his character literally is aura because of his technique. So that's an obvious 10. And Sukuna, I haven't seen characters more shook of a, a cursed legend since Madara Uchiha. Uh, bro. Nothing really to say about these two that isn't obvious. They're both 10 on the aura scale, but if we're being honest, they don't have more aura than Panda. I mean, come on. It's a talking panda. That will conclude my aura scale. Let me know if I got this right. Let me know if I got it wrong. And let me know where you would put each person. Who has the most aura to you? Who's your favorite JJK character? Bye, I'm Tyler Relief. JJK, once again, is dismissed.